And, you know, we are professionals, and uh, today was just the day that I didn't realize how it would affect me. And, yes, it was a day of letting it go, just letting go. Uh, what, do you, what do you think the events that transpired that make you feel? Um, actually, it's, it's heartwarming seeing the support, seeing people come from far away to pay their respects to the sled dogs. Um, and when you, it, it, it was just heartwarming. It was, it was heartwarming. Um, Any sense of closure or anything? Right? Uh, y yes, yes. Uh, I believe after sentencing, that will be the final closure for me um, and for most of the investigators. But certainly today helped, and the dogs are at rest. And um, and they had a story to tell, and I believe that the BCSPCA helped tell their story. Um, obviously, uh, this was doing the SPCA in general. I think um, this investigation for the BCSPCA has been one of the largest that we've ever had to to do, and um, we 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 can't thank the public enough for their support. Um, because all in all, the, the government do not they don't fund the BCSPCA, and if it wasn't for supporters, for example, people coming out today we wouldn't be able to do the job that we do. So for that, I'm eternally grateful. Um, we are the voice for the animals and, um, and the public supporting the BCS PCA is just phenomenal. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I guess, what, what exactly made you want to come out here? We have been to every vigil and followed this since it broke on the news. I think it was 2010 and it just, being so close to home, it hit hard, and I am extremely emotional and sensitive when it comes to animals, maybe a little more than people. I love people, but this just was, like with everyone else, it just shocked them that it's the worst case you, you could ever hear of, of animal cruelty, and it, I just can't get past that. Like, it's so surreal that something of this 